Money, Power, and Corruption. This is our video series with Maria here. We're shooting it in uh, the former presidential palace, uh, Yanukovych. Are you saying it's like acceptable? Like it's it's um, almost like expected of a wife that she expects uh, her husband is going to have uh, a woman on the side. Yes, that's that's one hundred percent that uh, she will be suspicious. That she will expect. Foreign men tend to be more emotional, too emotional, maybe uh, too talkative, too revealing, too quickly. Basically, I call it like vomit on their girl, you know, like vomit information on their girl. Whereas Ukrainian men, he's cool. Ukrainian men, what are they like? Uh, and how do they compare to Western men? Uh, what do you think, Maria? Well, sometimes I think that our men behave like they are diamonds. So they, they think they're all that, yeah? They're yes. the cat's meow. Yes. Um, why do you think that is? Well, I think it's... Uh, it's because of our historical background, because after the Second uh, World War, we had a lack of men. And every woman tried to grab um, any kind of man. I mean, he could be addicted to alcohol, he could be addicted to any uh, games, uh, gambling. And uh, they tried to, to keep him. Uh, as to catch him and lock uh, him down. Yes, yes, uh -huh. yes. So, and we raised by our grandmas who told us this story that it's better to have any man than no man at all. So that's why um, our men who have some self-esteem, who have some good salaries and some position uh, in uh, social, uh, in career, of course they feel they are diamonds and everybody wants to be with him or have him. So, so there's like a competition for men here. Yes, like, it is. And, and, and if you're, uh, <laughs> it's, competition. it's a competition for men. Yeah. So you see the difference from the West guys. Um, so Ukrainian men are very prideful, is what you sounds like you're saying. Yes, very they're proud. prideful. They're mm -hmm. picky and they picky. They only want they, the most they beautiful. They, they will not be alone anytime. So wow, so they know they have an assortment of choice. Yeah, yes. blonde, uh, blonde, redhead, or dark-haired. They feel that they, like they are in Walmart and they can grab any kind of toys. Wow, so women are toys. <laughs> and uh, what about Ukrainian men? Are they cheaters? Do they cheat a lot or are they uh, faithful? Yes, they cheat a lot. And it's uh, kind of a socially normal behavior for men. I mean, it's according to our historical background again. It's uh, it's kind of normal that uh, men cheat and not normal when a woman cheats. So different mm -hmm. attitudes mm -hmm. to the same actions. Yeah, you know, I, I've heard a lot of cheating stories. And, you know, are you saying that it's like acceptable? Like it's, it's um, almost like expected of a wife that she expects uh, her husband is going to have uh, a woman on the side. Yes, that's that's one hundred percent that uh, she will be suspicious that she will expect and you know, even sometimes she might push him to do this unconsciously because she she will uh, I don't know she will yell at him and I don't know she will do like this do, do this you know why I don't understand because she needs this um, this evidence that she's right that she's right that you're going to be a cheater yes yes. Uh -huh. Wow. So, yeah, I've noticed that, that it's it's culturally acceptable. Even we went to the streets and we asked a lot of women, would you forgive your husband if he cheated on you? And 75% uh, said yes, they would forgive yes. him. And some said they expected it. Yes, that, that's, that's true. Mm -hmm. Is that one of uh, the positive features of Western men? Ukrainian women think they'll be more faithful or what do you think? We have more um, trust credit to Western men because mm -hmm. uh, we hope that they are much serious about uh, marriage, about family. <laughs> so. I think w w what she said is a very important word. They hope. Um, that's my experience too. They don't really think we're more faithful, but they hope <laughs> and they pray that we're more faithful. Um, I think we are from what I've seen living here for four years. Um, let's talk about um, alpha Ukrainian men. And uh, there's a lot of uh, dating advice out there that Foreigners should become more like Ukrainian men in some regard in that. Let me explain because, uh, okay, foreign men tend to be more emotional, 
too emotional maybe, mm -hmm. uh, too talkative, too revealing too quickly, too wear their emotions and everything on their sleeve. Tell all. Mm -hmm. Talk about their past relationship, their past marriage, uh, their past mistakes. Uh, basic, basically, I call it like vomit on their girl, mm -hmm. you know, like vomit information on their girl. Whereas Ukrainian man, he's cool. He's collected. He's calm. He's wow. tight-lipped. He listens more than he speaks. I don't know. What's your thoughts on that, Maria? For me, it's uh, the behavior of our Ukrainian men. What you what you say? It's more about tricky and kind of suspicious behavior, and it's not uh, psychologically healthy behavior. So you have to be in, in the middle. Don't talk too much, but uh, about your past because it means that, well, Ukrainian lady will think that you are missing about your pre previous life. And like you want your old yes. your old woman back, your yes. ex. You, you you want your ex back. Yeah, don't so, do that, guys. Very yes. bad. <laughs> no, but you can talk about your emotions uh, with your lady now. What 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 you experienced now, and I don't know if maybe Ukrainian ladies want some Ukrainian guys, so they should marry Ukrainian guys, not foreign, not to make a foreigner look like Ukrainian. No, it's it's kind of weird for mm -hmm. me. So guys, uh, we're just wrapping up our money, power, and corruption video series here with Maria. Uh, we're shooting it in uh, the former presidential palace, uh, Yanukovych. Um, and if you haven't seen those videos, uh, there's a juicy one about gold diggers. Click on the link below where Maria confesses to having a friend who's milked guys to the tune of 200 grand in the past two years and we talk about the the top five red flags to see if you think your lady's a gold digger or not so you want to watch that and uh, that's a wrap good luck guys on your journey looking for love